guys I want to introduce to a concept called dividend arbitrage now this is a concept that I've been very interested in now who isn't interested in arbitra arbitrage because arbitrage basically means that you make the profit as soon as you open the trade now that sounds very attractive doesn't it well it does and I'm gonna try and do that now now basically I've been having a look and so there's a concept called dividend arbitrage. Now, from my basic research, I've been using Think or Swim. And if you go to the Market Watch section and you go to the calendar, okay, I've clicked here on dividends, so it shows me all the dividends coming up this week. Now, basically, I've done a bit of back testing, and what I found is that uh, the regular dividends really don't give me much arbitrage opportunity. Like, for example, um, <coughs> if you look at I'm trying to find a big company, LTD. Okay, Limited Brands is a big company. Let's bring it up on the map here. LTD. Now, I'm going to try using a tactic which is called a conversion, which basically means I'm going to buy a lot of shares. I'm going to buy 1,000 shares. And I'm going to actually do a, like a synthetic short. So that will mean buying puts and selling calls at the same strike price. So have a look at this. I mean, that gives us a flat line here. Okay? Now, why is that? Because basically it's composed of two positions. Number one, you can see here my long stock, this white line here. And I'll just take that off. And the other position is the synthetic short which is made of buying 39 strike puts and buy and selling 39 strike calls okay and that creates a synthetic short so of course if you add up a synthetic short and the regular long stock you end up with zero now it should be zero theoretically but you can see it's minus 290 now why is that if you look here you can see that the dividend is 20 cents per share. So for 1,000 shares, that will come out to $200. Okay, and coupled with the bid ask spreads, etc., that comes out to minus 290. And that means basically that we'll be getting back $200 uh, from, the from the dividend. And that will bring us back to a loss of $90. And that's again probably made up mainly of bid ask spreads, etc. And that might be a, a bit more as well due to the bid ask spreads. Now, now, yeah. So I've had a lot of, I've had an extensive look at different opportunities in the regular dividends, and I haven't found any opportunity. Uh, but when you look at the special dividends, then I have found opportunity. So. I've actually opened a position, and this will be very interesting to see what pans out. So the position, the position that I've opened is on LYB. You can see that they've announced a special dividend of four dollars fifty per share. Okay, and that will be go ex dividend tomorrow on the twenty second of November. So that means anyone holding shares before the open on the twenty second of November will be eligible uh, for the dividend whereas anyone purchasing the shares on or after the open of the 22nd of November will not be eligible for the dividend so I've today is the 21st of November 2011 and I've purchased a lot I'm gonna do an ex experiment here so I've purchased a lot of 100 shares Sorry, I'm just going to put that back onto LYB here. And that's Lyondell Basel Industries. Okay, so I've purchased, again, a lot of 100 shares. It's trading at 34.35. And I've s created a synthetic short by buying the 34 puts and selling the 34 calls. Now, by the way, you can do this with any strike as long as the call and the put strikes are the same so that's the synthetic short and you add them up for my total position of 
minus uh, at a loss of twenty four dollars. However, remember I should be actually getting uh, four dollars fifty per share. So four point five times my one hundred shares means I should be getting an extra four hundred and fifty dollars. Now, obviously, I've confirmed all this with the company announcement, which you can see here. I'll just pull that up so you can see it on the screen. Okay, so... You can see here, Lyndall Basil Board authorizes $4.50 special dividend that was announced on the 14th uh, of November, so just uh, a week ago and it's to be paid on the 16th of December to shareholders on, uh, on the record on the 25th of November uh, and the ex dividend date is two days before so it's well it's, it's actually been determined to be the 22nd and yeah so that seems but it's subject it does say here that it's subject to the adoption of a resolution by the management board expected to be on the 25th of November. So, it will be very interesting to see what this experiment shows. Will I be able to actually come out with this arbitrage position and come out with a risk-free profit? Well, it will be very interesting, so stay tuned and, and let's see what the, what the results are. So, just to summarize, I want to give you the exact figures. Um, my filled orders, so I I bought one put at a price of 160 and I sold one call, these are 34 strike, December uh, for 185 and I bought the stock at $34 and approximately 50 cents so stay tuned and we'll see what the results are of this trade.